Hello again! So now I'm going to go through how I do the limb sculpts. So I'm making arms, legs and wings today. First of all is the wings. So I'm just shaping the main shape for them. These ones are quite small. A little wee hook bit at the top. Try and work in pairs, it's like really important for doing the limbs because well, you want to try and get the same amount of clay for both. Once you've gone through the whole process it can actually be quite difficult so I tend to go and do them in stages back and forth and checking that they're about the same size. So you see I'm doing the first stage on both. So getting in the tool there to start doing the ribs on the wings. Try and keep these pretty simple so that they're not too complicated. I'm using our ball tool to just give it a little texture in there. Do you find that you have to go over the little sections where you've got things like points, they start to get a little undefined? This one's working, but this one's in there, just... I'm putting a hole in there, so the hole is for when we stitch them onto the actual doll. Depending on how the wings are made, sometimes you can actually move them, sometimes they have to be stitched on so that they're more static. I think I managed to get these ones kind of somewhere between the two, <laughs> so they can wiggle a little bit. I'm just dividing up the clay to do the arms. Try to keep the arms fairly simple, but they have some quite a lot of detail when it comes to the claws. If you see, I've added a little bit of detail there with the ball tool, just as an indent. What that ends up doing is this quite magical thing once you put on the stitching the, the together to the body, in that I put a bead in there and it kind of nestles right in if you do it right. Little tiny itty bitty claws. They're made the same as where I did the teeth on the face, if you see. Weeny little triangles. So it's kind of gone off slightly off camera there, but I've uh, used the ball tool to just push in a little detail, much like what I did for putting the teeth in the sockets. There we go. You can just see the claw there coming together. And so again, going through and doing them in stages, so I'll try and keep things symmetrical. Oh look there, see now I managed to get this bit on camera, it's fine. <laughs> and more itty bitty claws. It's really funny watching this because then I'm kind of anticipating what bit I'm going to do next. Just got that little bend in the elbow there. 
and then it's pretty much the same thing for working on the feet and the legs. Slightly bigger piece of clay, I like to do quite a chunky foot on there. chunky foot. So I've got the feet so that they're angled forward so it's kind of more in a sitting position on these ones rather than them standing but they can actually stand as well. This is just exactly the same as doing on the claws. But I'm working with four on this one, so I have three main claws and then I have one hind one, which is a little bigger. can't quite see because I keep on going off again but as I put each one in it just push that in gently and then squeeze the clay around it so it's sat quite tightly into the socket and then gently tease the end of the claw over and then just using that chisel edge to get a nice bend in that's the same as before, is that putting that one in and going back on the other side so you get a nice smooth hole. And same on the other side. I do really like working with this stone kind of clay. It's it's really satisfying. I think it hides a lot of the little flaws too. I'm just checking that both of them are, are even vaguely symmetrical at that point. This is really useful. And I'm just using the bowl tool there to put in the slightly bigger claw. There we go, a matching pair. And just bending that edges around at the top so that it sits a little nicer against the body. sculpt. So we're going to go on to the shading just like I did on the face with the uh, different coloured bits of pastels. So I use three shades. So one is this kind of ochre colour, one is a pale grey and then the black to darken down the grey somewhat. It's just a very soft paintbrush that I use. Um, softer the better because then it doesn't actually then harm the detail in the design that you've done and just really lightly and on both sides as well if you go a bit too overboard with the color at this point you can lightly clean some of it off i tend to use baby wipes can you take it off quite smoothly and you can also use them to help to smooth out areas where you maybe have too many fingerprints. The clay's just gotten a little dirty when you've been working with it. 
and it's really easy to blend those colors just kind of working working with paint same kind of principle my pigments blend remarkably well which means that you can have colors which are not a bit different than what you get in the standard packs it means you don't actually have to have hundreds of different colors darker color there, some deeper shading. So you see that there's actually very little difference in uh, when I've finished doing the actual painting. Most of the pigment is put on at this stage. And there we go, that's a full set. And we're all ready to put these in the oven. <laughs>